shield, not cocking it off top spot. Very business-like, Volta. Just look at that magnificent lift, looking at the horse right through, tight on the double twist. Good form, good dynamics, high shoulders on landing, well controlled. Just got to put a second one in, in at the same quality now. first in slow motion again because we don't do the same two volts and here comes the second one for real and that the Phelps vault innovated at the Atlanta Olympics by JC Phelps and that's a Sukahara entry and then a half twist into front one and a half somersault but again, often the case with Amanor, she'll, what some may criticise as take the easier route, but everything is performed with no great mistakes. So she's not afraid to come down a little on the tariff if necessary, but whatever she's doing, it is solid. And that really is the story of this young woman's performances so far. Now let's stick with the Romanians, quickly get over to the bars, Andrea Raduca. So in the chase for medals in this European all-around championship. The, the coach allowed to be on the podium on release and catch elements, Radica Natsu. Bar exchange, took it a handstand on the bottom bar. Oh, that was a long dismount. Left go, release points a little bit early. Notice how many of the gymnasts are not wearing hand guards, but just bandages or braids, as we call them. Because of the complicated hand positions, the dowels in the hand guards were intrusive to the skill. And there, demonstrate just ordinary cotton bandage. And this, the ginger, almost bit the bar. Landed very, very close to it there. She's moving into the dismount, and that was an early release. Just managed to have time to spot the floor and get round on the half twist. But a very much improved asymmetric bar routine from Radukan since Tang Ying. Well, this is the one that we've all been waiting for, the Olympic and World. Well, even bars at champion, Svetlana Korkina. She needs to pull something out of the bag quite special here. Remember, she comes into this third rotation a little further down the standings than she would like. And as the defending European champion, she knows this is the apparatus she can pull herself back into top position. Nobody can touch her on this. It's just poetry. Mark Helov earlier on, and then half twisting heck to catch the bar she just moves from skill to skill bit of a dead leg on the landing but that's as far as she went wrong and so straight armed so flowing every skill so precise she really does swing bars so well I hope really you managed the, to see it in slow motion. Not really sure the jib camera is the best way to watch that performance, to be honest. But there we see the battle moves on, and it is Amanor and Korkina. And for now, Amanor turns the tables on the European Championships of two years ago. Korkina in a runner-up position. Zamolochikova is in third. Kopenko moves back into the chase in fourth. Moya for Spain, consistent throughout five. Rashkopina six. Raducan in seventh. And Moro de Fez, also of the Spanish team, is in eighth place. Amanor or Korkina. That is where the battle lies with just one rotation to go.